Good morning, church and social media friends. Welcome to Reflect and Revive here at CPR City Point Restoration. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tom Bossinger, and it's my privilege to bring to you the word along with some heartfelt thoughts, which will help you jumpstart your day with encouragement, focus, and excitement in such a time where fear is trying to paralyze or constrain the hearts and minds of many people I'd like to share the next 10 minutes around the thought, obedience over fear. Before I get started, I'm super happy today as a proud papa to know that my daughter Naomi has completed her ordained minister's uh, coursework. It's so nice to have her as an ordained minister. And of course, my youngest is a professional educator. It makes any parent very happy to see their children succeed in life. Let, rem- let me take the time and remind you of a story amongst many references in the Word that indicates that fear existed in biblical times and it still exists today. However, the same God who delivered then is still in the delivery business now. One of the examples mentioned in the Bible was about a rather small man in comparison with his opponent. We know the story as David and Goliath. When I was a young boy, David and Goliath always mesmerized me because as a young boy, you would always think of how this young person slayed this big giant. And I know we used to run out into yards when I was a young boy and I'll never forget putting shoestrings together around a piece of leather and putting a rock in it and swirling it around your head and throwing it. And one day the rock got loose and uh, we heard a little bit of crash, but we all ran. You know, we was afraid. Uh, that, that evening, my dad had went outside and came back in and said, you would never believe somebody just threw a rock through my windshield. <laughs> you don't want to get into that kind of uh, Goliath, I can tell you. We know the story as David and Goliath, which was a small man, a shepherd boy, in fact, an Israelite. And Goliath was a mighty warrior of the Philistines. Here the Philistines sat on one side of the mountain in Samuel and the Israelites sat on the other side of the mountain and every day for 40 days this big giant would come out and provoke the Israelites and basically he would end up saying if you can slay me then we will bow to you but if we slay you you will bow to us. Now David had some experiences in the field of victory and being victorious over enemies as he had recently killed a bear and he had recently killed a lion while protecting his father's sheep. David knew that it was not by his power that he slayed the bear and the lion, but by God's power. Now God has defeated some of our enemies over time and we need to remember and draw strength from those experiences. Oftentimes we forget about the things that God has brought us through and we need to reflect on those things. Can you remember when it was a better to choose obedience over fear? Let me tell you, I learned as a young child. It was so much better that I do as my parents ask than to ignore them and do it my way. Believe me, when I chose to ignore or do it my way, fear quickly set in because I knew what the results were going to be. I'm sure many watching this video can testify to that same fear. You see, if David would have done it his way, there would have been fear standing in the way of victory. But he loved God so much that he trusted him totally, meaning unconditionally. The word says in 1 John 4, 18, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out all fear. We are all facing our own Goliaths today. And the world is facing Goliaths today, such as COVID-19, unsettled division. Children have to be taught from home, one spouse or both spouse losing their jobs. Unsettled leadership in our government. Many families without food, marital issues, and the list goes on. Let's look at David's approach a little closer. David's first attempt 
to arm himself with the modern armaments, such as putting on Saul's helmet and coat and strapped on Saul's sword around his waist. David was not familiar with these protections and could not move good in them. The point here is we need to stop trying to defeat our Goliaths by turning to things that you're not familiar with. And how often does that happen in our lives? You know, our Goliaths could be a simple weight loss plan and we turn to pills. You know, our, our, our deals could be that we are money stricken and we turn to theft or doing things the wrong way. David's issue here was he wanted to use what he knew. And what he knew was a shepherd's staff. You know, he had a sling and he had five smooth stones and more so his trust and obedience to God. We cannot defeat Goliaths without God. The word says in Hebrews 4 and 12, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged swords, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Now you're going to come across Goliaths in your everyday walk here on earth. Rather they come in disguises such as bullies, you know, or they or temptations to, to curse someone out. The desire to destroy or steal things sounds familiar in today's time. Thoughts of looking at pornography or even lust or sin or even just bad habits. However, there is a great news. Whatever Goliath is, it can be slain. And I'm so thankful for that today, that God gives us the strength through His power that we can be made overcomers. As I stated, David used what was familiar to him along with his dependence on God, which is an indication of doing things out of obedience and not fear. Fear alone prompts us to do things without thinking. And more times than often, more Goliaths are multiplied or spun off these reactions. You know, you've heard someone say you have to tell a lie, to tell a lie, to tell a lie, to get out of a lie. And you can't keep up with all that. So let's talk just a moment on those stones. The first stone, which was called faith. As a youth, David had been taught the principle of faith. He had put his faith in the Lord as he tendered and protected his father's sheep. David recognized that it was not by his power that he killed the bear and the lion. It was by the power of God. With the faith, David met Goliath. Stone number two, obedience. And that's what we're talking about today. Through obedience, we exercise the principle of faith. David was in the right place at the right time. Because he obeyed his father. If David had not obeyed his father, Israel would have been under siege for a longer period of time. Faith and obedience work hand in hand. You know, that's, that's what happened. Can you imagine that when he went out there that Saul said, hey, you cannot defeat this giant. This guy is nine foot tall and has armor of steel. You cannot do this. And he started quickly mounting up with Saul's sword and, you know, with his breastplate. And he still felt uncomfortable. And he got those things off and said, look, I am not familiar with these things. I'm going to use what I know. And when he went out and faced him, you know, using that faith, right? And using that obedience. And then he also used that third stone, service. Without service, the stones of faith and obedience have no power or strength. Have you heard someone say it's like, have an ability with no availability. David went to meet Goliath and he had prayer in his heart, which was a fourth stone. And let's call that fifth stone the Holy Ghost, right? He not only had faith, he was not only obedient, he not only performed service and prayed, but he had the spirit of the Lord with him because his faith, obedience and service and prayer, the spirit of the Lord, was with him. We must have proper behavior in place for the Holy Spirit to abide with us and knock down these giants. So today, if you have Goliaths, and I believe we all do in one shape or fashion or form, we need to seek out God's help. 
I'm asking you today, have you considered what is in your sling? What are you using to ward off Goliaths? It could be a bad boss at work. It could be a bad situation at work. And we tend to either give in, tuck tail and run, leaving what supports our family, or we tend to give in and go along with you know, the, the, the folks in charge, even if it's wrong. So today I want you to know that, do you have the faith you need? Are you choosing obedience over fear? And before closing, I wanna thank our Pastor Collier for allowing me to bring the word and for sharing my thoughts and reflect and revive because it means so much to me. I wanna take just a second to let us pray. And I want you to arm your sling with what can and has proven to slay Goliath for thousands of years. And that's prayer, and that's obedience, and that's love, and that's service, and that's the Holy Spirit. I want to pray. Father, we come to you today in Jesus' precious holy name. We thank you, God, for your love. We thank you, God, that you've allowed us to arm ourselves, God, with the precious stones that can slay the giants of today. We pray, God, we would use no other way but your way, your word. God, I pray you go before us. Lord, remove these Goliaths. Help us, God, to stand true to your word until we meet again. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you for joining, and I pray that you would have a blessed day. Thank you.